Well, I guess what we should uh, start everything off with is uh, talking about the tour right now. How's that been going? Uh, the tour of the Ellers Appetite's been terrific. I want to say that I know Stephen's trying to change the name to Adler's GNR, which I think is great. There's a little more stock to what we're trying to do. There's Axel with seven guys doing the Guns N' Roses. Stephen with four guys doing the Guns N' Roses. So and, um, I'm excited about that, doing a record together. We've talked about after this tour maybe getting together and doing a, an album of cover songs, have Slash produce a track. Wow. And try to get artists from each of the songs that we pick to play one guy from each of the bands to play on the record. Wow. Which would be interesting for us. And then, of course, he wants to do a studio record. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're just focusing on this big tour. We're in that Oscar Minor Wiener Wagon. I got Michael Thomas from Faster Pussycat, Alice Grassi from Quiet Riot, and uh, Stephen and myself and Sheldon singing songs. And uh, it's been a very successful tour. We just, I just want to get through this. See what happens, where it takes us after this. Hmm. Now, how did you uh, get approached to uh, hooking up with Stephen and, and doing this tour? We toured last year in South America. Did a few shows. It was terrific. We've always got along great. I met his brother back in '99. He booked this tour called the Hard Tour with Bullet Boys, Bang Tango, Pretty Boy Floyd, all these bands going through to playing theaters and large clubs through the United States. And it was very successful. Mm -hmm. And from there, I got a chance to meet Stephen. I wish I knew him earlier because I would have hired him to play at Enough's Enough. Uh, such a great drummer. Uh, solid. I love his pocket and I uh, love his sense of balance. He seems that we do good together. We have a nice little team. Why we've been on this tour, we've hit all the big shows from Eddie Trunk and BH1 to Opie and Anthony. Of course, my brother Howard Stern showed that it's Howard TV. Uh, it's, it's been very fruitful to say the least. And I've been with my band Enough's Enough for years and years struggling and fighting all different personal issues. It's nice to be on a tour right now where everything just goes real smooth. It's a milk and cookies tour is a clean bus and I'm just happy to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how much uh, longer do you have on this leg of the tour? Got another week to go and then I meet up with Enough's Enough. Donnie and I will meet up in uh, Mexico City, big concert with uh, uh, Skid Row and a bunch of 80s bands. Nice. Good stuff, though. I'm real excited to probably be a solid out there because we don't. This will be the first time for enough enough playing Mexico City. Wow. We did it once with Steven Adler. Uh, but to go out there and play the songs that we helped create, uh, it's quite a blessing because I always wanted to go over there. My dad told me that's some great stuff happening in that country. Got a lot of culture and mm -hmm. try to experience it. So uh, next month I'll be in Mexico City and then I'm going to go on a small little run with enough enough doing. Uh, a dozen dates maybe. We start with Michael Shaker in Chicago at the House of Blues on April 2nd and work our way through the Midwest. And I think we're going to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. That maybe might be coming kind of close to Wichita, Kansas. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have a brand new album out, a new Enough Snuff album. It's called Dissonance and it features Jay Healy playing guitar with us. And I'm really excited about what this record can do. It's a strong album. Every record we put out is really strong. And I'm always excited about it. It's like another book mm -hmm. or a novel, so to speak. Uh, that being said, I'd like to see it get in some people's hands and pass it around, see what think, people think of the new stuff that we're doing. It's a little harder, a little edgier maybe than what we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. However, they still get, you still have Donnie's beautiful pipes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the songs are pretty strong, too. So what was it like getting back in the studio and working with Donnie again? That was nice. We got together because uh, Rick Krim over at VH1 called me and said he wanted us to shoot the show called Bands on the Run. And uh, so I talked to Donnie and talked to Fox and got all the guys together. Mm -hmm. And we met, we convened in uh, Los Angeles, started the show, we shot it for about seven days. And then we decided during while we were shooting uh, the pilot for VH1 that maybe we should make a record because if, if the show's going to be good, it would be nice to have a record to follow it up. Mm -hmm. So we went to student to the record. Unfortunately, VH1 passed on the pilot, but the record's still there. And now here we are. Finally, it's going to see the light of day after you know, a year. Mm -hmm. So how are you putting that out? Do you have a distributor for that? Or are you doing it independently? Yeah, it'll come out uh, on Stony Records through this company, BCD, great distributor. It'll be on iTunes and Rhapsody and eMusic and all the great sites that push all the bands. Nice. We'll go out and we'll hit the street and shake hands and kiss babies for about three weeks and see how it goes. Nice, nice. And I'll be, I'll be going back and forth flip-flopping because I got, I have, we have, 
there's a few more Adler shows, I think, in the works coming up. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to miss any of those. Mm -hmm. Now, on the subject of Stony Records, that's something that you created. Um, are you uh, signing any, any bands to, to that? Well, it's an idea that I got from Clive Davis. That's how I put it together. Um, I've signed a few bands, but right now I'm just concentrating on the, the three main acts that I have on the roster, which is Johnny Rotten Jr., and of course the Enough's Enough stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, this new band that's called Six Foot Model. Mm -hmm. Nice. As long as I've known you, you have never given up on the business, and it's, it's kind of like it's, it's your blood. Well, I've never given up on the music, let's just say that. I've already been a star, I've already been on TV, and I've already traveled all around the country. And that's what trips my trigger, writing, creating songs, and then going out and playing them for you guys. That's the most important thing for me. And the you know, average life expectancy of a musician or any band is, you know, it's a couple of years, five years, or whatever. So for me to be still going all these years playing, uh, I, I'm, maybe I'm confusing most of our progress, as Herbie Herber would say, but uh, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. I just try to make good music and put it out there and write with different artists. And, mm -hmm. and so wherever the cards may fall, okay, I'm ready. And just from watching your guys' performance tonight, you, you seem to have a really good chemistry with the, the group of guys that you're out on the road with right now. Well, you can't lose with Adler. No. Pretty strong drummer, and those Guns N' Roses songs are great songs that, that he helped create with that band. Mm -hmm. And I want to pay respect to them, and I don't want to do any, I'm not playing anything short of what is on those records, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. and it's nice that the fans are coming up to me and they're flattered that they hear those songs because it's going to be tough to get those guys together in one room again, I, although it can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, for in the meantime, I, for me to get, get a chance to be a part of it and make people happy like that, bringing them back to the old times, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, that record's timeless. It's sold 8 million records or whatever it is. So I, I don't feel like I'm in a cover band because I'm playing with Adler. Mm -hmm. And uh, quite frankly, I'm, I'm very excited about what the future holds for that band. Now on the subject, uh, going back to Enough's Enough, um, with uh, you and Donnie being the only original guys left in the band, you uh, have a couple of new cats playing with you. Um, how did you come about hooking up with those guys? Well, we hooked up with uh, Randy. Randy Xander Scott has been playing with us for quite a while now. Uh, after Ricky passed away, Randy joined the band, and he's been touring with us for a while now. And he's a strong singer and a solid drummer. And uh, the guitar player's name is Tori. He's from a band called the Black Mollies. Great, just a great guitar player. Solid as a rock, a real citizen. And uh, they love Enough's Enough and love the songs. So we got together, hold ourselves up in a, a rehearsal spot in, in Chicago for a week or so. And went through all the songs, picked the, picked the stuff that we liked. And here we are now taking it to the street. Nice, nice. You remember the first time that the four of you guys actually practiced or jammed for the first time, what that was like? Yeah, it was uh, pretty exciting. We were uh, actually in Las Vegas. We all got together in Vegas and went through a rehearsal. And uh, Donnie sounded great singing. The band was strong. Everybody sort of did their homework before they showed up at the rehearsals. And I was spending a lot of time at, at, during that. Uh, uh, this, this is like last year. I spent a lot of time with uh, Stephen Adler in Las Vegas and my manager, Ryan Johnson, just making sure he's OK. So it was nice for us to get together, play, and get away from Vegas for a little while because that place is you know, full of uh, piss and vinegar and it never stops. Uh, that being said, we had some good rehearsals and the shows were real strong. And we said, hey, this sounds great. Let's try to do it, take it, take it around the country and see what people think. So far, it's been pretty good. Um, man, I think that covers everything. Hey, thanks, Tom. Definitely. Appreciate Thank you. You've always been a brother to me. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. I love that. Yep, you know, man, and, uh, I'm, I'm here till the end. Yeah, well, so am I. Yeah, so. Your lips to God's ears. I mean, the best thing that happened to you last year be the worst thing that happens to you this year. Nice. Cheers.